So, so far in my core six thousand deck, um, if I show you the back of the card, right at, at the moment it auto plays both the word audio and the sentence audio, but、um, I'm just going through a phase right now where I just want to hear the word audio. And I want to practice reading the sentence myself before I play the sentence audio.、Um, I find that playing the sentence audio automatically before I've had a chance to read the sentence kind of agitates me a little bit. So I've already practiced on the front of the card. I'll see the the、uh, the word and I'll try and obviously read it, but obviously I won't be able to. But at least I've tried to read it. Then I'll revealing the back of the card, having the word audio play the word to me with the reading, is fine.、Uh, but then the next step is to move on to the sentence where I'll try and read the sentence after having learnt the word. And then if I can't read the word then, or if I can even doesn't matter, I'll play the sentence audio. Uh, so that's the kind of process I'm going through right now. So I want to play the word audio automatically, but I want to stop the sentence audio from playing. But that's not really a feature that's built into IT right now. So, but I've looked up on、uh, online, and there are some pretty clever people online. And this one person has given a really awesome solution. So,、um, And given instructions as well, really clear instructions too. So let's go through them. So first of all, it says, create a new options group and uncheck automatically play audio.、Um, so the options group, if you go back to your list of decks, the options will be grouped. These are the option groups here, and I've named one core for this deck here. And so I might have to end up changing these. Uh, these uh, option groups here to something different, but go to the cogwheel, options, general, and then uncheck this automatically play audio. Uncheck it. Okay. Now next number two, it says put the field with the audio you want to auto play between divs, spans, etc. See code below. So. Put the audio you want、uh, to to play automatically between divs like this here. So I just go ahead and copy this. It makes it very easy for people to、um, to go through these instructions. So I'll go to browse in R and. <coughs> Any audio on the back, so this is the word audio here. This is the audio I want to automatically play, and I don't want this one to play. So I want the word audio, which is here. So I'll just go ahead and select all of this and replace it with the with what the guy, the person used. Changing this back to word audio. Now it's messed up my my card layout a little bit.、Um, I use span here, and they said div, but it actually says divs, spans, etc. So it's just a bit of trial and error. I can just change this to span, and that seems to have fixed the problem. Okay, so I've got also got this font size difference here. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference. Uh, it doesn't show up on the desktop version, but it might do on the mobile version. So I'll just have to, I'll come back to that later. That's just a minor problem. Okay, back to the、uh, instructions, and it says, give an ID or class to the div. You can call it whatever you want,、uh, but make sure that it matches the ones inside of the query selector. The query selector is here. I call mine auto play, so I think he's referring to this auto play, auto play, and you'll see the div ID is auto play. I've got yeah, that's fine. I just keep it the same. I won't touch it. Then number four, 
copy the copy and paste the script below at the end of the section you want to, the audio to play back in my case so he's saying yeah so at the end of the section the card section which is the back of the card so again just copy this and um, I'm going to put it I'll put it here I'm not going to go anywhere lower than this. This is the end of the, the section, the card, back of the card as far as I'm concerned. Hajimeru. Oh, and it just, it looks like it just gave a, it just uh, activated it straight away. Can I get rid of that space? Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's fine. Hajimeru. Yeah, looks like it's worked. So I'll just, so once again, I've changed this. Uh, audio here and then I've added this at the end of the back of the card and hit save so out here and let's just test it so I'll practice seeing trying to read the word if I know it and if I don't then I'll be like curious to know what it says Watashi. and bingo oh that's awesome it worked Great. So now I can just go ahead with my uh, the way I want to study now. So have exposure to the word, try and read whatever I can, be a bit curious about what that actually says. Hajimeru. Reveal the answer with the reading and the audio simultaneously. Then. I'll go ahead and try and read the sentence myself. Ah, but obviously I need to make sure this will be activated too. So yeah, I can obviously <laughs> cursor over to help me read it as well. I just remembered that. But then also, I want to know about pitch and proper pronunciation. So once I'm ready, once I've done trying to read it or actually reading it, I'll just go ahead and play the audio. So this says, Test or Hajimete Kudasai. Test or Hajimete Kudasai. Test or Hajimete Kudasai. So yeah, it's like that. So that's how, yeah. That's how you can, uh, what is it? You can choose which audio files to play or talking about disabling autoplay for certain fields or selecting certain fields to autoplay over others. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much to the people that have, uh, or the person that has given these instructions. Thank you. Prussian Green, is it? Thank you, thank you, thank you.